and it is very annoying to lane against this support shot. But they've rotated Infano, and they're going to look to punish it. They know he doesn't have disruption. And nowhere to go. Might be giving up the first blood, good old Tims. And he will be finished off. That's true, yeah. you got to make sure you don't like Chen and two up in your face with them. Uh, KP's got the point in Heavenly Grace now. Be a tougher kill, but they are going to chase him out with the Edict damage rolling in. And KP going to go down again. Start to farm the stacks up now. Fada moving in, Hanskin coming through as well, and Nico Baby joining the party. The good defensive disruption at the Shrine. This is kind of a tough fight. However, he didn't get much healing during that time as the Shrine was tapped while he was banished. The Blinding Light beautifully done by March, pushing them all back. The Poison stack, yep, only level one though. Stun comes through, another banish. TNC very irritating to finish them off. Do we even see the Bristleback? Consider a rotation in Tim's. Should be the takedown. He wants to take Fada with him. Just missing on that last Shadow Poison. And in fact, they go back for KP, who has overstayed his welcome. Tried to go back in. Uh, Buckler, that AoE heal. Oh, they catch out KP here. Good chain stun. Nico Baby coming through with the Void. Nice purification. Blinding Light again. Such a nuisance, but Alliance are committed to this one. Diving for the Omni Knight. Another Void available. They'll lob it out and should get the kill with the double stun. Didn't need the sec. It'll be Fada who breaks it as he so often does. They will lob out a purge. Follow-up should come from Armel, but the Ignis here might let them a two-for-one special. Hanskin trying to run away, gets blinding lighted right back into the middle of it. Man push into the bristle. If he just plunks himself in front of a push, it's very hard to get through him. Gabby is marching in. They got the banish on Hanskin. He's gonna drop. They bring in Nico, baby. This is the opportunity for Alliance. Nice silence, but the blast back into the Ignis. Gabby stands his ground, doesn't want to eat that Spirit Siphon. Gets out of range of it, but he is taking quite a bit of damage. Defensive banish, but they gotta stick around if they want to keep him alive. They don't have a point in the Guardian Angel yet. Gabby might need that. Oh, Omni Knight just melting. The Chen stun comes through. Armel getting forced back, trapped up for days. The Purge. Is it going to be enough? Nico Baby just keeps on hammering away at Tim's, trying to finish him off. Pushes them back with a blinding light, but now March is going to have to run for dear life. Won't make it out. That's going to be four heroes cleaned up as Alliance descend en masse. The one hero they could have kills the Bristle, but they basically just ignored him. HP almost dead, and Gabby going to snag it. No, Armel gets the snatch. The last hit actually went to the Dire. I think it was a Nico Baby nuke or something, but TNC now getting forced back. Gabby, they're out in front. He did not get the Aegis where you normally think he'd be the one going for it. Tanking the whole Chen army. He's fine, though. Nico Baby cleaning up on the sidelines. He gets the Shadow Demon. Now turning back. Isolating Gabby amongst the Chen army. There, KP finally has the ultimate. Sucks them back into the Aegis with the help of March. Blinding Light pushing some backlighters away, but this DP is standing strong. Exorcism was committed, and they chase forward looking for more. Nico Baby flying high. Gets up the three hero void. Hammer drop, not enough, and they keep on going. Gabby still alive, but low, and finally finished off. They get him once. That's going to be four dead with the Aegis coming back for a second death. Armel also pounded down. And was it worth it, gods? Yeah, Here comes the Dark Ascension. Nico Baby, that's exactly what you're going to see in the bottom lane. Dives onto Tim's, assassinates him. Unstoppable streak. Keep on fighting while he's got the Dark Ascension. Another Gabby. blink, another stun. Follow up from the Ogre, and they get to work on Gabby. Can they slay the beast? He's got a BKB. He turns back on Fada. He smacks him apart with that mace, insta TP out, and he will. Let's go, baby. He's hunting the courier. He wants some free gold for his team. Going to catch out Armel as well, and with Hanskin coming through, no BKB on this OD. He will drop, and they might catch Gabby too. BKB in 25, such a crucial item in these fights, and for the time being, he's fine. Starts working on Hanskin. Nico Baby just ignoring the bristle. That is the game plan for Alliance. Kill everyone else, then we slay the beast. He says, and Death Prophet just slowing him down with the Spirit Siphon. The chase all the way to the high ground. Alliance going ham here, smacking away at Tim's. Nico Baby gets the kill. Now they turn back for that pesky armadillo, and they will get him. Preemptive Heavenly Grace thrown, thrown out onto Armel. They lead with Gabby. Roche is about a third HP, but the Night Stalker jumps in. Instant assassination attempt on the Omni Knight. They banish him. They keep him in fighting shape, but he's also not healing his team during this time. So instead, they collapse on March. KP as well, quickly killing them off. Tim's will be next with a clap, a glimmer cape, not running away. The detection is there. Four heroes dead. The lone survivor, a limping Gabby. Does he just try to sneak in the pit? No, Nico Baby's onto him here. Void, blink. There'll be a full team wipe. Very likely, he runs, at least get that bounty rune. Even this will be denied to you, sir, as the BKB. The exorcism 
They'll slow this down with the blinding light, but not gonna help you against the Death Prophet as long as Lim can stay alive. Spirit Siphon, keep him in fighting shape. Oh, he can stay alive. Yeah, he's tanky, he's still got cheese as well, and they just don't have burst damage, but Armel is starting to stack up the Arcane Orb steals. He's up to 36, drops the hammer, the cheese comes through, Lim stays alive. Can they win in round two of the fight with Deco Baby marching in the back lines? Everybody's fine, the Omni Knight ult well-timed. Gabby though, in danger, hounding him back to these tier four towers. Alliance have not claimed the Rex yet though, they've gotten the tower, Exorcism now over, and Limp just wants to get away. Armel up to 64 stolen in, but he gets pushed oh, nice in too far, up. tries to push himself back out, it's not enough. Great offensive four staff there as Alliance surging forward, looking for the catch out on KP, melting them down with the pulse over the buyback from Armel, but he's got to start over with the in steal. No BKB for him anytime soon. Alliance chasing back to the fountain, in fact. They keep on thrusting forward. Shadow Poison stack up on Nico, baby. For what it's worth at this stage, Armel back into the fray, working on Fada, gets the stun, says, Take me, leave my team, please. But Gabby wants more than just that. Oh, he goes down to 33. <laughs> This bristle back chasing the back lines and Fada. He's still alive. <laughs> still alive. Finally gonna go down. But can they get other kills? There's still an Aegis to worry about on Nico Baby. Gabby's in deep. He's committing into four heroes during this time. Gets stunned. Spirit Siphon afflicting him and most of them getting out. It looks like Hanskin should escape too. Baby smoked up. He's gonna see Tim's. He's looking for that initiation and he's just gonna dive Tim's straight onto him at the tier fours. Ricks his face, no buyback. Now with the Exorcism, they've got a power play. Alliance looking for this Rax, maybe looking for Gabby as well. Armel standing strong, has the BKB, doesn't want to use it too early, but they've already lost something here. Nico Baby just goes onto him with the BKB, hammering away at him. He's got the nullifier, the BKB finally comes out from Armel. Not sure it's gonna matter though. Dove to the fountain, one more hit, not enough. But that is a completely wasted OD BKB. I guess it keeps him alive, but it's not doing damage. It's not getting kills. I'm gonna play it safe though. All the lanes pushing. Alliance starting to close in on this TNC base. And Lip deploys the Exorcism. It's go time. Dark Ascension up as well. They get the silence off on the OD. Nico Baby looking for his jump. The Void first, trying to force out some spells. Nothing big just yet. But Gabby's out in front. Fighting into the Exorcism. The OD getting pushed around like a ping pong ball. Nico Baby taking decent damage here to the Quills, but they've still got the Chen heals in reserve if needed. Stays alive, pops the Hand of God. He's gonna retreat out. OD, 24 stolen It Doesn't feel like it's enough just yet. He's got a BKB, and again, it is a defensive BKB. Yep. Alliance just backing off. They do have to wait for Exorcism if they back here. I think TNC, with the stolen in, they may feel a little bit confident to try and chase and take a fight here, but we'll see if it's... Yeah, there's also no there's no night time just yet. We're waiting a minute for that on the yep. Alliance side. So this could be your best opportunity if you're TNC. Bristle back, getting pushed back, trying to retreat out to safety. They're working on him slowly. KP keeps him up in fighting shape. Tim City behind him. Stay behind the super boss. And Gabby runs back in. Has that completed AC now? Stands his ground, but he gets pushed forward into the enemy back lines, and now Night Stalker re-engaging. He's got a fresh Dark Ascension up and online, and he hammers his way through him. Keeps on charging forward, working for the Omni Knight. They're gonna throw him up in the air and look for a bit more. KP, they're purging him, slowing him down, trying to get this Omni Knight back to safety. Gets banished. That might just allow Elias to set up here with the Handskin stun, but that forces out the buyback. Bristleback re-engaging. Gabby comes in for round two. Has his BKB in 50, so not for a while. Exorcism up in 15, meanwhile. Oh, they gotta be careful not to overstay their welcome, TNC. Chasing forward, Armel with 44 a in. Lot of it. Decent hammer comes through, gets Ooh. the Fada kill. Not enough, you really need a core. And Hans can go into the BKB TP. Not gonna make it. Right. Limp coming in, gets off Exorcism number one. Silence coming through on the OD. The chain stun coming out. Gabby, horse back for now. Still has the Abyssal Blade. Now getting multicasted again and again, slowly dropping low, Limp out in front, but the Spirit Siphon's just forcing Armel immediately on his heels. He lobs in the Hex, Limp takes some decent damage, the Hammer completely ineffective. They'll keep on fighting though. Try to work on this Night Stalker as BKB charged in, Gabby in the front so lines, slow. doing decent work with the break on the Night Stalker. They might be able to kill him, it's the Orbs doing the damage. Armel chasing forward, 33, forced back. Don't sleep on this OD, he's gonna get a second kill, no buybacks. Alliance thought there was no way in hell they could lose that fight, and yeah, this Rax is low. There is no Glyph available, and they charge forward. 
Limp deploying the Exorcism rather early, but the Shivas comes out and Armel starts to get to work here. They're gonna try to sheep him up, but that very irritating Heavenly Grace keeping him in the fight for now. Limp, BKB ending, perhaps in trouble now with the Ignis coming through. Still not very much stolen in on this OD, only four. And they've lost the racks. Could just be a retreat from Alliance now. They in. don't have to stick around. Hanske BKB just to run away. The Ignis still afflicting them. Finally going to expire. Alliance is just focusing buildings now. Before Night Circle was tunnel vision too much on killing supports. Now they just want to kill buildings. Hex comes out. OD with 36 stolen in. He gets counter Hex, but the Heavenly Grace keeps him in fighting shape. They'll push him back to safety. Gabby surrounded. Getting chain stun. Getting a little bit dangerously. No, they know that Heavenly Grace has already been used. He'll be kept alive for now by the defensive banish. Now he's going to have to BKB. Charges in, working on Fado. Gets pushed back as well. Limp just committing towards the racks. The game can't handle all the spells flying out right now. Armel, though, getting a lot of it. Up to 60, up to 68. Drops the hammer. It's only on a BKB. Nico, baby, doesn't do a thing. Now he's in trouble with this Hex coming back the other way. It's Limp's turn to engage, but he walks into the Ignis. He walks into the orbs. Limp has to be careful. He's committed his refresher. He another has another exorcism. exorcism. Yeah. They fought their way through this Ignis. This would probably be the best time to force the fight. Hanskin, though, may go down here. Gabby's going for it. Gabby's going for it. He's not going to get it. He's out for two minutes. We'll have to buy back if they want to have any hope of turning this around. There's the buyback. Armel, though, 88 stolen it, 92 stolen it. Just keep that OD alive. He's your last hope. They're losing He's your only hope, though. but the creeps, the creeps are the MVPs as they just keep on building. Uh, mowing down buildings, they will get that melee rax. Limp jumping back in. Nico Baby's there as well. Bristleback will end up uh, having to There's run away a die shred back. of HP. Can he make it out of here? Meanwhile, the Hex under the Omni Knight trying to bring him down. He does get banished at the perfect moment. Isolated they have no though. Damage. Surrounded. Full health. The OD has no stacks. He's got to start all over again with this buyback. And they've already lost a full three lanes. It's Mega Creeps now. TNC up against the ropes. Can they possibly? Turn this one around. Hanskin getting bashed, getting controlled, finished off with the Abyssal Blade committed there. And they have isolated Fada in the trees, so they're going to get the supports. But they have buybacks. But only the supports. They Alliance are still resting and waiting. Let the creeps do the heavy lifting. Armel gets off an early hex here. He gets counter hex, but the permanent Heavenly Grace on both cores. It's the Omni Knight who needs to stay alive. BKB committed by Limp, and they're going to start to converge on these tier fours. Melting quickly to the Exorcism. He will back away. They get one. They've also got to worry about this Diabolic Edict. This Handskin fences in and out of the fight. They isolate Armel. Only 24 stolen in. They can't lose him. He's got no buyback. He's getting chain stunned. Defensive banish. KP commits the GA during this time, but he's not hitting. He's hexed. He's healed. It's not enough. Another banish. Alliance just build, bringing down buildings, turning over for the racks, ignoring the heroes almost, only hitting them to push them away. The Ignis comes through. It's a massacre of goo everywhere, spraying all over Alliance. They might lose Nico Baby with this Ignis. They're going to kill him off. TNC are holding for now. He's got a buyback. Does he commit it? Or do they just accept the tier fours back away? Fada turns in. There's the multi. Decast, ding, ding, indeed. They get the kill. They might need more. KP standing strong. This AOE goo doing some nice work. They're trying to focus the throw here with this. It's still eating. at half HP, though. Do they have the damage? The Death Prophet? It's not enough for DNC now. Lips charging in. There. They get more kills. They get hand skin as well. There's no buyback on two of these heroes. The creeps are being held up. TNC standing against the lots. Fada sounds the retreat. He TPs out. And TNC holds. Dirging forward, walks right into Gabby, pops the BKB, Ignis committed. He's just going to go straight for it. Throne dropping very quickly. They need to keep this throne alive. The Guardian Angel deployed. Limp down to about half HP here. He's already used up his Aeon disc. Can they finish off this throne? Nico Baby just hammering away, but this GA is proving such a now. nuisance. Headskin and Nico Baby. He reversed back. He's sold for refresher. He's, he's dead. He's dead. He's They've held TNC. They keep that Night Stalker He off. sold everything. And by a chance. Gabby, stunned for days. He could take a lot of punishment. 20 seconds, no Guardian Angel still. That's one Ignis down as well. Coddle has Refresher though. Doesn't have boots, so needs to just hug this tower. This Bristleback. He is a slow man, and here comes the double hex. hex. Follow up Silence coming through. Ignis getting deployed, and they're going to rush past it. DP, no, actually focusing on heroes for now. They're just ignoring the buildings for the time being. Alliance dancing around. They want to kill off Armel. Can they slay the beast? Armel, no. GA number one coming out. Doesn't have the second GA. 
for 45 seconds. Alliance have baited it out. Can they commit now onto the throne? Just get the job done. Armel is dead. He's got an insta buyback. He's going to pop it. Alliance dancing in and out. There's the hex. OD ult drop does nothing once again. It's a point for second, second ult. Uh, I don't know if he's got enough stolen in here, gods. He but more. maybe just the orbs. Maybe the orbs on Nico, baby. Forcing him back and away. They can't get the kill. This throne is still alive, baby. This throne is still fine, and Nico Baby has the buyback. Does he use it this time? He does. He's gonna go all in. They're gonna look to BOT back in. Take this throne right here, right now. But it's Dan Strong. The no quill, GA the goo, holding back. It's defense of the ancient. Gabriel, Gabby, low, alive, and OD Hammer number two. two. Ineffective, and no. they can't do it. <laughs> Tansy. Oh. Oh, they you, worked for it. Uh,